Hey loves, so it's time for a new cheap, cheap makeup look. This makeup is all from iCade House. And the first thing I'm going to start with is my Beauty Treats Concealer Palette, which was actually $5.99. I'll post all the information for all the products that I'm using, but there is a lot of inexpensive makeup that I'm going to be using in this video. And you can always check out iCateHouse.com if you're looking for anything basically from lipstick, eyeshadow, eyeliner, foundation, they have it all. So the one thing that I'm going to be using that I just applied to my face is Benefits Pore Professional. I love this stuff. Of course, you cannot get this on iCate House, but it is a great product because it just diminishes your pores and it also takes away that oily skin look. So the first item actually that I will be putting on my face from iCate House is the new LA Girls Pro Balm um, makeup tip. Or I'll put the information below on um, BB cream rather I really like it it gives a nice tint a really nice tint and it's the actual perfect complexion color match to my skin tone so I went ahead and applied that all over my face with my favorite Sedona brushes and I'm now going to be putting on some eyeshadow primer to put my eyeshadow on so this entire eyeshadow palette is LA colors and this was about either $2.99 or $3.99 I absolutely love it you can do an entire look with this entire palette like they have loads of makeup on that website girls so I'm telling you guys be cheapskate like me and you'll have yourself a makeup collection in no time if you shop with I Kate House. So the next uh, color I'm using is more or less like a darker brown above my crease and that is another Sedona lace brush. I love their brushes. These are basically like my favorite go-to everyday brushes. I do love makeup brushes and I have a huge makeup brush collection but there are ones that really stand out to me and are really my favorite. So Sedona is one of them. So I'm going to take that brush and just sweep back and forth with that dark brown above my crease and then I'm going to go into that gray in that same LA colors palette there are 12 colors in that palette and um, they are all actually really pigmented they're really bright colors well, not bright but really pigmented colors really really like fresh colors so now that I've went ahead and put that gray I'm gonna go back into like that dark brown and I'm just going to blend it in a little bit above the gray I don't want any harsh lines on my eyelids so now taking that kind of like eggshellless white color I'm going to put that below my brows just for a highlight and let me tell you ladies this eyeshadow is so pigmented you will need to really blend it out like it doesn't dust off like like really easy so you really will need to blend it so you don't need a lot with this palette and like I said they have a bunch of different palettes just like that one that I showed you in different colors so back into that dark brown I'm just gonna do a little bit touch up with it and now I'm gonna go ahead and take like a more shimmery white and put that in the inner tear duct of my upper eyelid and I'm going to take some fake MAC. This is not real MAC eye pigment it's just a gray. Um, I bought these off of eBay and I have loads of them and they're actually really great eyeshadows regardless if they're MAC or not they're really great eyeshadows now I went ahead and wet my brush with that NYX uh, makeup spray setting spray and you can also get that on iKate House and I went ahead and put that gray over top of my LA colors just to give it like a little shimmer so that was like the whole point of that now one of my favorite eyeliners is the Milani and I'm just going to take that and give myself like a little winged eye look. I am not the best at doing any type of winged eyeliner, I swear to you guys. It could take me sometimes like 10 minutes to do a winged eyeliner look. And I decided to go over with my LA Colors um, liquid eyeliner. I love this liquid eyeliner but I'm like the worst at putting on liquid eyeliner so I always put it over another eyeliner that's easier to put. It's kind of like my outline. Now I'm going to be mixing my foundations together, my Mary Kay along with my LA Colors. It just gives me like the best color complexion, the best match. Um, I do have a match which is the MAC NC42 but I ran out and I refuse to go buy any more until I use up all the foundation in my collection. It's just a waste to me. So taking my Beauty Blender sponge, I'm gonna just go ahead and set that foundation in. I love this sponge, you can get it from Walmart. And I'm gonna be using the LA Girls 
Pro Concealer and this is in the color yellow. This is a really, really good concealer. I'm gonna use it to kind of like brighten underneath my eyelids where it's kind of dark, you know, but this is like a really, really good concealer and this is just the yellow, which I really, really like. Now I'm going to take my Mary Kay Time Wise Matte Foundation. This is in the color Beige 4. And I use that to do my highlight on my face. It's too light for my skin tone as you can tell. But it's a great highlighter. Regardless of its foundation, it's a great highlighter. And just with a Sedona Flat Kabuki Brush or Flat Buffer Brush, I'm just going to go ahead and pat that in. And then I'm going to take my Beauty Blender Sponge and just blend that in. This is not an actual Beauty Blender Sponge. It, I forget this the name of it every time I do a video, but I will post the information below. I love this um, sponge. It's the best. Now, Nika K or Nika K has their own concealer, which is the HD concealer, and it was $1.49. So I'm going to use that, and this is in the color Sophia, or Sephia, excuse me, and I'm going to use that for my contour on my face. And it's a little bit more um, product than the actual LA Girl Pro Concealer. But look, it works really, really well. I like the outcome of it. Really, really blendable. And it actually did last me the entire day. So my look is coming together. I love to use this Beauty Blender sponge to contour with, to highlight with, to set my foundation. It is like the perfect sponge. You can get it really at like Ulta or Walmart. Now just to set my concealer or basically my highlight, I'm going to just put on some setting powder, which is Ben Nye. I've been wanting to try Sasha Cosmetics Buttercup and I will soon get around to ordering it. Now time to just make my eyelashes look really full and pretty. Just grab your favorite mascara and just go ahead and coat and coat and coat those bottom lashes. And then what you're going to want to do next is of course take that same gray and our gray and black and just kind of line the bottom lids of your bottom waterline rather you don't want to give it too dramatic because your eyes are already dark so you just want to go ahead and just line it a little bit now with the nika k mineral pressed powder which is also from i kate house for 4.99 i'm going to go ahead and set my face with that i love this stuff it's really really good um it lasts all day i really really would suggest it one of my favorite bronzers, which is only a dollar, is the e.l.f. You can actually get this from iCade House as well. This is in the color Warm Tan, and I'm just using my, well, my Sedona brush. And I'm going to also be using this Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights, which you can get at any, basically, drugstore. And this is like a great highlight. And I did show the e.l.f. baked blush beforehand, before this, and I will be using that in a minute. But this is a really great highlight. I did get this from CVS, and I really like it. I don't use it, use it as often as I should because I forget about it. But it's a really great highlight. And over top of that, I'm going to be using my e.l.f. baked blush, which is also available at iKate House. Along with that, I'll be using this LA Girls Mineral Blush, which is also available at iKate House. And I love this color pink. It's so, so pretty. So the last piece of makeup that I have to apply is my Matte LA Girls Lip, Lip Gloss Lipstick, which is also available at iKate House. Everything that I basically put on was available at iKate House, and I'll put their information for you guys below. So right about now, I'm really, really loving this straight Peruvian hair, which is from JS Luxury Hair. I love this wig that I created. I'm not one for straight hair, but this one just does me justice. So all the information for iKate House and the products I use will be listed for you guys below. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day. Bye.